Hello and welcome to today's edition of Mocha Mama Cafe. I am sitting on my sofa, so hopefully this comes out okay. I think that's a little bit better. Uh, today is the taping for Monday, February 27th, 2017. Can you believe it? We are two months into the quote-unquote new year. And, and now it's not even the new year as we knew it <laughs> two months ago. But here we are on the threshold of March. That's amazing to me. Time goes so quickly. But anyway, I am Mocha Mama, and I am actually, <laughs> I'm drinking my water. <laughs> I'm hot, but anyway, um, but I, I, I do still have my cafe. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, um, for the last couple of shows, uh, tapings, um, I did some little vignettes, if you will, just some little videos of different prominent scriptures, if I can say that, if I can use that term, of different scriptures that uh, I go to for emergency purposes, if you will, Psalm 91. I did a video for Psalm 91. I did a video for Psalm chapter 70, uh, which is, what, maybe six, maybe eight verses. It's very short, but basically it's come help quickly. I need help now, Lord. Uh, Psalm 121, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Um, and, of course, the 23rd Psalm. So uh, I did those recently, and then for this past weekend edition, I did Proverbs 24, 25, and 26. Usually I only do two videos for the, um, one video for two days, I mean, for the weekend, but this time I included Friday, since on Saturday, Saturday is the surgery. So uh, I am actually taping this on Friday, the day before the surgery. So uh, hopefully tomorrow, Tuesday, you'll see me all fresh and anew and everything and just having um, what they call a knee scope. Uh, I have apparently meniscal tears on both knees. And so they're doing a repair on both knees and apparently some debridement as well. So anyway, um, I look forward to giving you an update on Tuesday. And I do ask for your continued prayers as well. So today I'll be reading Proverbs chapter 27 and then we'll be continuing along in our journey on, in Psalms, okay? So let's go on and pray. Uh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this new week. We thank you for bringing us into this new week. This is a reminder that you have a continued plan and a continued purpose for us. Thank you that you have not forgotten us, but you have completely laid out a whole plan for our lives, including especially what Jesus did on the cross for us. So thank you so much. We lift up this time to you, may be acceptable offering to you, Father God, and um, bless the reading of your word. Thank you that you always watch over your word to perform it. In Jesus' name, amen. Proverbs 27, New Living Translation. Don't brag about tomorrow since you don't know what the day will bring. Let someone else praise you, not your own mouth. A stranger, not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is waiting, but the resentment caused by a fool is even heavier. Anger is cruel and wrath is like a flood, but jealousy is even more dangerous. An open rebuke is better than hidden love. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. A person who is full refuses honey, but even bitter food tastes sweet to the hungry. A person who strays from home 
is like a bird that strays from its nest. The heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as perfume and incense. Never abandon a friend, either yours or your father's. When disaster strikes, you won't have to ask your brother for assistance. It's better to go to a neighbor than to a brother who lives far away. Be wise, my child, and make my heart glad. Then I will be able to answer my critics. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precautions. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. Get security from someone who guarantees a stranger's death. Get a deposit if he does it for foreigners. A loud and cheerful greeting early in the morning will be taken as a curse. A quarrelsome wife is as annoying as constant dripping on a rainy day. Stopping her complaints is like trying to stop the wind or trying to hold something with greased hands. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. As workers who tend a fig tree are allowed to eat the fruit, so workers who protect their employer's interests will be rewarded. As a face is reflected in water, so the heart reflects the real person. Just as death and destruction are never satisfied, so human desire is never satisfied. Fire tests the purity of silver and gold, but a person is tested by being praised. You cannot separate fools from their foolishness, even though you grind them like grain with mortar and pestle. Know the state of your flocks and put your heart into caring for your herds, for riches don't last forever and the crown might not be passed to the next generation. After the hay is harvested and the new crop appears and the mountain grasses are gathered in, your sheep will provide wool for clothing and your goats will provide the price of a field and you will have enough goat's milk for yourself, your family, and your servant girls. Proverbs 27 Psalm chapter 34 a Psalm of David regarding the time he pretended to be insane in front of Abimelech who sent him away. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow, no shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation, I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his godly people. For those who fear him will have all they need. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry. But those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Come, my children, and listen to me and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. 
The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely destroy the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Psalm 35, a Psalm of David. O Lord, oppose those who oppose me. Fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor and take up your shield. Prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift up your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate those who want to harm me. Blow them away like chaff in the wind, a wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. I did them no wrong, but they laid a trap for me. I did them no wrong but they dug a pit to catch me. So let sudden ruin come upon them. Let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Let them be destroyed in the pit they dug for me. Then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because he rescues me. With every bone in my body, I will praise him. Lord, who can compare with you? Who else rescues the helpless from the strong? Who else protects the helpless and poor from those who rob them? Malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them, but my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names. They snarl at me. How long, O oh Lord, will you look on and do nothing? Rescue me from their fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. They don't talk of peace. They plot against innocent people who mind their own business. They shout, aha, aha, with our own eyes. We saw him do it. Oh, Lord, you know all about this. Do not stay silent. Do not abandon me now, Lord. Wake up. Rise to my defense. Take up my case. My God and my Lord, declare me not guilty, O oh Lord, my God, for you give justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me in my troubles. Don't let them say, look, we got what we wanted. Now we will eat him alive. May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, great is the Lord who delights and blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice and I will praise you all day long. Um, David is such an expressive writer. His prayers are such utterances from the heart, from the depths of anguish. I, I just love his writings. So anyway, that is the Monday um, February 27th edition of Mocha Mama Cafe reading Proverbs chapter 27 and Psalms chapter 34 and 35. 
So thank you for tuning in today. I pray it was a blessing to, to you. Leave some comments below. And also you can con contact us at mochamamacafe at gmail.com. And mama is spelled M-O-M-M-A. mochamamacafe at gmail.com. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.